truth hidden in plain sight. Now this will blow your mind. This will change your entire perception of why the world is currently the way that it is. I'm going to play a clip from the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still and then explain the deeper meaning. But every civilization reaches a crisis point eventually. Most of them don't make it. Yours did. How? Our sun was dying. We had to evolve in order to survive. So it was only when your world was threatened with destruction that you became what you are now. Yes. Well, that's where we are. You say we're on the brink of destruction, and you're right. But it's only on the brink that people find the will to change. Only at the precipice do we evolve. This is our moment. Don't take it from us. We are close to an answer. Okay, so this is actually super deep. Really contemplate this concept that we don't evolve, the humanity collective consciousness does not evolve unless it is pushed to the brink of destruction. Does that sound like something that's happening in society and in the world right now? To me it does. So what if we took the perspective that this reality has been meticulously designed and created in order to serve humanity as a whole to evolve? And this involves a catalyst otherwise known as the dark side. Some call it negative entities, negative forces. But what they are doing, even sometimes unconsciously, is they're playing the role of the villain. Because the dark side always thinks that they're serving themselves, but it's actually really ironic because they're serving the greater whole by being the villain, which ironically creates a catalyst for the beings, such as you and I, to become the greatest versions of ourselves because we are no longer complacent. We must decide, literally, are we going to evolve or are we going to suffer? And you can take that to the extreme like the movie did by saying that the suffering is actually destruction, but the concept still stands. So start to see all of those in reality that you think are your enemies are actually serving you to become the greatest version of yourself. And also, this is why ETs don't help us. Because they know that we have to evolve ourselves to get to a higher level of consciousness. Because when we get to that higher level, we have learned our lessons. That's why Dolores Cannon called the Earth a school. Right now, we are learning the greatest lesson of all, which is how to tell truth from falsehood. My definition of truth versus falsehood is truth is life supporting and falsehood is life taking. And once humanity as a whole, as a collective consciousness can understand what is truth and what is falsehood, this will be the end of the reign of the darkness on the planet. And that only happens when the light exposes the darkness or when truth exposes falsehood. And right now it looks like a lot of falsehood is being exposed by the truth or in a metaphysical sense, all the light is exposing the darkness. So what can we do? We can seek the truth and understand what is life supporting and then share that with others. And then when enough of us share that truth, then we can no longer be manipulated. Because it is only in the 3D level of consciousness that we can be manipulated by false-